What's up everyone? Today I want to show you a little tip I found in Premiere Pro when I was editing and I actually found it by accident. It's pretty sick, so let's jump into it. We're in Premiere and I'm about to blow your mind. Let's say you have some B-roll or footage that you are messing around with. You set an in point and then you go and set an out point and you drag it down your timeline to add footage to your timeline. But check it out. If you drag it to your program window, wow, I was mind blown the first time I saw this. You have a ton of different options like insert before, insert after, insert, replace, overwrite, and overlay. What do these do? Well, you might be saying like, hey, Carly, we already have these overwrite and insert down here. Like if you click insert, it inserts the clip. If you click overwrite, it overwrites the clip over the current clip you have. Uh, but we have a new one. It's called overlay check this out. If I click overlay or drag my clip to it, it's automatically going to put it over the clip we have without changing our V1 and A1 layers, which is awesome because previously we had to, you know, select our layers, either disable our audio or whatever, just to drag it down to the certain layer we need. But with this, we don't have to mess around with anything. One note when using this technique, if you don't want audio and let's say we're just adding footage to this clip, deselect your A1 layer and simply drag over to overlay. When you do that, it automatically overlays the clip and then you can set a new in and out point, drag it over to overlay and check it out. In just a couple seconds, we have the B-roll over our clip already, which is extremely awesome and extremely beneficial. So let's just show you a quick tip on the rest of them. And that's pretty much it. When you drag over your in and out point from your source window, you'll see insert before. Drag it onto there, it simply inserts that clip before this clip. Now keep in mind, if you select A1 again, it's going to attach it with the audio. Now we can also do insert after, which will insert that clip after. And if you go to insert, it will actually insert it wherever your playhead is. Now at the bottom, we have replace. Replace will simply replace that clip. You'll notice down here, I have this clip, but if I go to replace, it changes that clip entirely to what we have selected in the source window. That's beneficial if you want to change out an interview section with a different part or anything like that. Overwrite is similar, but it just overwrites that clip with the new clip at the certain time where the playhead was at. Now, insert works like insert has always done. It will insert that clip in where the playhead is at. But using these functions, you'll be able to customize your footage in your timeline quicker than easier than ever. Lastly, when you're working with a lot of clips and stuff, the overlay function is my favorite thing because it doesn't matter how many stacked layers you have. If you're over this clip and you go to overlay, it will put that all the way to the top. So this is a time saver because you don't have to adjust the V1 layers anymore. It will simply always put it to the top, no matter how many layers you have with in and out points. It saves time by simply clicking and dragging to one section, then clicking and dragging and fumbling around down here. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. If not, then I'll be better next time. But I know you guys like shorter videos, so let's keep trying to make these short. Peace.